Okay. Any issues that you like that you know exist that you'd like to check? Or should we check answers and then see if it brings all of them? I'll tell you this first one. I think I might have mentioned this, but. Okay. Number one doesn't have the correct answer in the multiple choice. It should be half of 156. So I'm not sure what happened there. But it should be 70. So, yeah, let's go check answers and then we'll come back and do some. I guess we'll do it that way. So, number one, again, D, it's shown here. But D is actually double what it should be. It should be 78. Number three, A, 5A, 7A, 9 is B, 11 is B, 13 is B. So I love to aim the beats. Okay. That said, let's go back and do a couple that you'd like. <coughs> well, I heard. Yeah, go ahead. Nine. Nine. I think that was the one you said too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're finding the measure of SUL, so it's kind of marked here, maybe put an X there. Oh wait, hold on, let's read the arrow, 10 plus 3X. And what kind of lines are UL and US? Those are secants, yeah. Okay, they intersect the circle twice. And so we're, this is the... Let me flash over here to our notes just to show you what we're looking at. It was the last notes that we wrote. <clears throat> so intersecting outside, that's the situation we have. And remember, case numbers here didn't really matter, but it would be case one that we're looking at. So all three of those versions have the same formula, which was big arc minus small arc times a half. So in here we have expressions a little bit, so let me write the formula actually first. I'm going to just call that measure of angle U, and it's half of the big arc. Big arc minus small arc. So in this case, the bigger arc is the 156, and then smaller arc is 6x minus 8, and our angle is given as 10 plus 3x. How do we get rid of the half? <coughs> yeah. Multiply that whole thing by 2, or 2 over 1, whichever you see. Big idea though is to not distribute that 2 because it's there to cancel the half. So it's gone. And we get 156 minus 6x minus 8. Okay? Make sure you put parentheses around that because we're subtracting that whole angle, 6x minus 8, not just the 6x part. Anyway, and then over here we also have to multiply by 2. And again here you need to put parentheses around the 10 plus 3x so that you distribute to get 20 plus 6x. So those, like the formula is easy, it's half big arc minus small arc, but those little details are where things go wrong. So parentheses around things that are groups and either being distributed or subtracting. From here we can clean up this negative sign or the minus sign over there. So minus 6x, that's pretty clear, but what's minus minus? Plus that's plus 8. Good. So we have 264, and uh, when we subtract or add, whenever we get our x's together, we'll get 12x. I personally like to keep those positive, so I'm going to move the 
let's just write it, plus 6x there, and then minus 20. Okay, so I'm going 156 plus 8 is 164, and then minus 20 is 144. So x is 12. But it asks us for the actual measure of the angle. So we need to do 10 plus 3 times 12, which is 76. Um, no, 46, excuse me. So B. Did that help? Any others that you'd like to do? Okay. Let me ask you a couple questions just as a review. No, but not that. What kind of situation is 10? We're not solving it, just I want to talk through the relationships so, because I want to get your eyes used to here's a problem, jump from here in your notes there in your notes, all over the place. Uh, what's the relationship between angle RST and the rest of the situation? <clears throat> so again, where the blue line is, how would you find that angle? I would suggest that you need to get to a point where this is like, you know this stuff pretty well. Um, if you're finding yourself using your notes pretty effectively, then that's a good place to be too. Like, you know that you can find this within 10 or 20 seconds in your notes. If you look at this and you have no clue where to look and you have to flip through every page, that's a bad place to be. You need to study a whole bunch between now and Thursday. Um, so this is a secant chord angle and it's half of the arc. So arc TS, it's half of that and vice versa, right? Okay, let's do a couple more of those. 13 is the same. How about 14? What kind of uh, situation is that? How would you solve? Or let's say angle LDE. How would you solve for angle LDE? Well, R2 would find one of the other angles, and then you can just uh, subtract that from waiting. I don't want to do it that way. Okay. So ignore all the stuff. I'm just saying use the picture only. How? What kind of relationship could you use to solve for LDE or GDF? What kind of angles are those is what I'm asking. They're interior, right? So the fourth thing from the end of our notes, fourth box. So what's the formula for interior angles? GF. You got it. Okay, so it's the one that's, it's the plus one, not the minus. So when it's interior like this, half of the sum of the two arcs and intercepts. Uh, but not, you know, don't forget, like Jameson brought up, we have linear pairs here, we have vertical angles also. Anytime you see triangles, maybe you could leverage that. So keep your eyes peeled for any of those kind. How about this one, number two? kind of angle is E? I think I heard you. What kind of angle is E? Go ahead, Kevin. It's inscribed. That's what you said, right? And so E is what? How do, like, how could you find E from something else? Half of arc F, whatever letter D, right? So... That big arc, it would be half of that intercepted arc. All right, well, so looking at these and being able to identify is really important. What kind of lines are ST and SR? Those are tangents. What is true about SR and ST? They are congruent. The lengths are. And then also this is the case if we solve for angles that big arc minus small arc times a half. So one half big minus small. Okay. Hello. It's almost like you get a new relationship. Same? Just, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so next thing I want to point out is our problems in here really boil down to angles or side lengths. Or maybe I should just say lengths. Do you agree? Did you notice the first half of the unit? We were doing we did the circles and like equations. That was kind of exhausting. After that we were solving a lot of lengths. So tangent lengths, chord lengths, yeah. radius. All sort of like arc length, all that kind of stuff. And then after that, we started getting into all these different angles. Inscribed, interior, exterior, uh, all that kind of stuff. When you are working through your review, when you're working on this test, my suggestion would be, is it an angle? Is it a length? And go down the road appropriate to your answer to that question. Any um, things that you want to bring up, ask about, before I just give you time to work on your review? So let's work for a while. We can check in in a little while to see how it's going.